Hi, I'm Riley Babish, and I'm a junior at Ogallala High School. And this piece is called Growing Up Too Drunk. Growing up sucked. I was that kid. I was the only one that showed up in a costume for the Halloween party, the princess that just didn't want to grow up. I lost all my baby teeth in middle school and got stuck with one. Emphasis on one front tooth. As if middle school wasn't bad enough, comments flew at me like a pitched ball when I had no idea how to bat, already considered the team strikeout. Just to add to the embarrassment, my bladder was a straight up did not nice person. I peed myself constantly. I'm better now. The teacher said it was my fault. I had to call someone. I had to clean up my own mess. Well, my home doesn't answer. They are too drunk to bring me a new pair of pants. Life just kept getting better, though. You go to school smelling like cigarettes. There's no way she's smoking so soon. No, but you will never understand that my parents smoke in the house, even in my room, like unwillingly being branded, a pact I never asked to join. That little pimple I wasn't worried about found some friends. Who without my consent invited cousins and uncles, you know, a little family get together on my face. A drinking festival. Riley, why are your parents always drunk? It's my fault. I didn't care for them. They are drowning and I am only tying rocks to their feet. At least the pimple found friends. It would have been nice to have one so I could have asked to borrow a tampon. Starting your period for the first time in the middle of intro to algebra is a real bit rough situation. <laughs> they are still too drunk to bring me a new pair of pants. The older I got, realizing it actually was all my fault, they had no money because apparently I just needed to eat that day. Why couldn't the 11-year-old carry her parents? The bills stacking up on my shoulders, making my knees tremble, just carry another job they haven't snapped yet. Add more. Too close to crumble, but I promise mom and dad, I never will. Just spend the money on something that will numb the now. A selfish fortune teller saying, drink me, take me, tomorrow will be better. That is if you make it. Whiskey, cigarettes, I'm not worried. They actually taste good. I get to claim the brand I've worn for years now. My unwilling brand is now scarred and permanent. Don't worry about your teeth. They'll get them nice and straight. Just holding still while the orthodontist uses my mouth to get her anger out. Hey, you don't actually fit in a size zero anymore. That must be why there is a nice clean rip down the at bottom side of my jeans. But don't worry, they are still too drunk to bring me a new pair of pants. Thank you.